What's up guys, GT Gamer here, and last episode we played on one of the fastest trains in the world, the high speed train in Britain. And at least I thought it was one of the fastest, but now we're going even faster with, can you tell yet, the TGV. Which is arguably the fastest train in the world. Let's put the headlights on, like that. And we're in Marseille, we're going to, uh, where are we going, Avignon which is a fairly long journey, it's just under 100 kilometers, and we are taking this bad boy, the TGV, or Train Grand de Vitis, which is French for high-speed train, very original. So let's get in the cab, if I can remember how, white. Ooh, lovely interior on this train. Top view, not very useful. That's the outside view, pretty much. Uh, I have no idea how to put the pantograph up. Uh, I don't actually know how to do that. You can do it on here. Oh, apparently it is up. Well, okay. Yeah, it's up apparently. Okay. Whatever. So I've got a few things to talk to you about, but let's get going first. So I want inside view. Release the brakes. It's in forwards. Why does it say pantograph in the middle of my screen? No idea. That should do it. And let's go for it. So, we're in kilometres an hour because we're in France and the speed limit right now is 30 kilometres per hour which is not that fast, about 20 miles an hour just over but we're going to go a heck of a lot faster this is a fast train <laughs> don't be deceived by the slow speed now this is a very fast train in fact we're going to hit 200 miles per hour on this journey one thing is important to say, if you go more than I think it's 16 kilometers or 10 miles an hour over the speed limit the train will automatically slow you down and brake and it will emergency brake you as well which sucks it happened the last time I did this and it's just a pain in the butt and yeah when I say the last time I did this what I mean is I actually had two videos recorded and it was the ride on the Acilia Express in America from Pennsylvania to New York. I did the entire length, recorded that, and then straight after I hopped onto this very route and did this, uh, recorded a video for you guys, and I put it through handbrake to create a constant frame rate because otherwise you can't edit it properly in the same line lineup. And for some reason, it's just, it wouldn't work. I would edit it, make it look nice, play it back, work fine. So I press export on Adobe Premiere Pro, which I use to edit, and it just will not edit the full video. Like, it'll make a file that says this is an MP4, and it'll be like so many gigabytes. You can tell it's a video file, but you click it and nothing happens at all. And I don't know why that is. It really, really was annoying. It, it did it for both videos, so I'm hoping this one will be different. I'm hoping I can actually send, like, get this out. But if I can't, then that's why. Well, you won't know because you won't see it. But that's why I haven't recorded in a few days. I've been trying, I really have been trying to give you a video every day. But I just do not know why that's happening, and it really, really is annoying. But anyway, I'm going to try and chill out a bit. And we're going to give it a bit of throttle because we're below the speed limit, and the speed limit is about to go 60. The speed limit goes up after the speedboard passes the back of the train. That's important. If you see a speed limit that says uh, you now go 50 miles an hour, you have to wait for the back of the train to pass it. If you go above the current speed limit before then, it will just be like, nope, and it just won't let you. The speed limit's going up to 60 kilometers an hour, and we're gonna get onto the high speed network soon. In the real life, you have to play with these down here to switch over the signaling system, but fortunately it's already done it for us. So we don't have to worry about that. But at the moment, we're on old tracks, old infrastructure, so we can't really go that fast. But as soon as we get onto the high speed lines, then we can really sh I can really show you what this train can do. It's amazingly fast. It is a very nice looking train as well. Look at that. Double decker. So you can sit on the top or the bottom. Carries thousands of people in luxury at 200 miles an hour every day. It's 
pretty awesome. One thing I did wish, if I show you the XY view, it's like this is brand new, which for this train is fair enough, it's probably only a few years old. But I think it should show like graffiti on random carriages and make it look used and weathered. Because trains do not look like this. There is a bit of weathering at the top. Not that much though. But trains do not look like this in real life. They all the dirty. And it just doesn't simulate that. Like all the stuff inside looks brand new. It looks like someone's just come in and reupholstered the entire carriage, but in real life there'd be like a crisp packet by there, there'd be urine on that seat from the annoying little kid that's always screaming. We can accelerate a fair bit now. And it's just, it doesn't simulate that. I think that would be quite cool if it did that. I don't know if it does it in Train Sim World, but it would be awesome if it did that. Right, speed limit's going up to 140, let's go full throttle. For now. And we'll probably reach that speed limit pretty damn fast. But the signalling system is going to change in a minute. At the moment we're using conventional signals like these ones above us here. When we go on the high speed lines, like can you imagine trying to see that at 200 miles an hour around the corner? Not happening. So the way it does it, there's like a little magnetic box next to the track. And as it passes it, it reads it. And it will display the speed limit by here. In green usually. If it's green, that's the speed limit. If it's flashing, however, it means that the signals, the speed limit's about to go down to that speed. It'll just change if it's going up, but if it's going down, it'll flash to give you an advance warning, and you have to slow down before the next speed limit, otherwise you'll just apply the emergency brake right with speed in now a little bit, or we will be at least. I think that was pretty good timing with the throttle, going 140. Another thing with this train is important to mention, this little hyphen next to the speed that is showing your your acceleration so hyphen means we're not really accelerating or decelerating at the moment if I apply some throttle it should go up there that means that the throttles on we're accelerating if I apply brake it should point down that means we're decelerating that's quite important to know I must say bearing in mind like normally when you zoom in on games it's quite blurry that is very crisp and detailed like, it looks like you genuinely got up close to it in real life. That's pretty cool. It doesn't show any, like, blurring or anything like that. Right, we've got a bit of room to accelerate. Speed limit's going to go up to 160 in a moment. That is 100 miles per hour. And after that, look at that, 230 kilometers per hour. That is about 140, 130, something, something like that. Right, let's de stop accelerating now. I must say, I'm doing quite well with the throttle today, aren't I? Try and keep on top of it. The speed, 139. See, I think I think I'm doing very well with throttle. Bearing in mind, last time I played this, when it didn't record properly or edit properly, I had three emergency brakes. It's 90 kilometres this journey, not very long, especially at 200 miles an hour. Ooh, outside view. Passing another TGV. Still can't get used to this camera though. <laughs> this camera, I don't like it much. Right, we're speeding. 160 now, just got it in time, well we had a bit of speed in, and there's the main signalling system, the TVM, so our speed limit's 230 you can see now, so we're going to give it a boot bolt, we're not going to accelerate that quickly, because we're going very steeply uphill, you can see the map, the HUD at the bottom, we're going quite steep uphill, like 25 degrees I think that means. But after this, we are going to go absolutely flying. So we've got 150 now. One thing I will mention, guys, I've actually got my first shift. I've started working for, it's an agency, but I'm working at an Amazon site. And it's like full time. So my spare time is pretty much gone out the window, so I won't be able to record videos as much. I'm quite nervous about that, about it. i got to be fair. I think it should be easier. I've got a friend that works there and he says some days it's easy, some days it's hard. So I'm a bit nervous but it'll be worth it when I see all that money coming in. So it does mean however I won't be able to record as much but it does mean I'll have more money to buy better equipment so swings and roundabouts. Right signalling. As I said there's no lights or anything but what we do have is when I see them There'll be these things that's a track, it's blue with yellow, like a, it looks a bit like the St. Lucia flag, it's like a blue box with a yellow triangle in it. 
those are our signals now so we need to pay attention to them but they don't have lights on them it just beams it into the cab onto that display so we need to be wary of that these are them now coming up so these are our signals now it doesn't mean anything by looking at them but we need to know where they are they're on the map still and there's also a purple and white version that means there's like a, a point coming up so you can change tracks and basically it'll normally give you the, the speed you you go in so it would give us 230 now but if you're changing tracks then that is the one you need to pay attention to but you will get advanced warning again this is a very long tunnel very steep as well we're about to get come out of here though in just over a kilometer and I think as soon as we come out there's a downhill section so that's when we can really accelerate we're going over 100 look at that the speedo speedometer is coming up to 300 in a minute 300 kilometers an hour that is 186 miles per hour so blisteringly fast like the HST we was driving last last episode that was 125 limited to this is I think they can in a test they hit something like 300 and something miles per hour but that's amazingly fast like they're still limited on this track if you configured them right and the tracks right they'll hit 300 miles per hour that is ridiculously fast but today we're only going to be able to go 320 kilometers per hour let's hope we can get through this signal before we break 230 otherwise we're going to have to start braking 215 yeah we'll do that fine <coughs> excuse me we're going 130 now give or take and I think Axon Provence is down here yep so this station coming out this Axon Provence we, you, there is options to stop here but I chose not to we're just going to fly through it there is a TGV there though yeah we're not going to catch it there uh, outside view is 2 Look how fast we're going now. 250 kilometers per hour. Everything. That's one thing this game needs motion blur. Like, it doesn't. It looks like we're going fast, but not this fast. It needs motion blur to make you go, like, whoa. Look how fast we're going. That's what this game needs. It, like, it would be so much better if you could look out the side window and just everything was blurry. Because it would be in real life. Even at 70 on the motorway, you look out the side window and you can't even see the barrier because it just looks like it's floating. It goes past so fast that you can't see the legs. It just looks like the barrier itself is floating. So with motion blur, this would be awesome. What I am going to do, would be a bit sneaky. I'm going to find a good camera angle. Say this. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit, like that. And now I'm going to go back inside. And when we pass a train, I'm going to sneakily change camera so we can get a really good thumbnail. I think that's a plan. Right, we're coming up to 300 kilometers an hour now, so we need to watch our speed. We're going about 180 miles per hour. So the outside view is four. Yeah, it's fast. That's our horn, right, we're speeding. And horn. <laughs> That's such a bitch horn. <laughs> Not the best, but still pretty cool. I just want another train to pass us really badly so I can get a good thumbnail. That'd be awesome, two TGVs passing flat out. Oh, here's one. Here's our thumbnail. It's going to fly past, look at that. Ooh, it's a double. Boom. Thumbnail. That's going to look cool. That is going to be awesome. Oh, we've slowed down a lot now. Full throttle again. I want the speed limit to go up to 320, but I'm not sure when it does. I think it's later on in the journey. That's going to be so fast, though. That's 200 miles per hour. To, uh, 320 kilometers. It's 200 miles an hour. Just think about this for a moment. If I go outside of you. This train, look at the length of it. That's got to weigh 200 tons probably and it's as fa it's faster than a Ferrari it's faster than a Formula 1 car not off the line not in acceleration I'll admit or cornering but in a straight line speed this is faster than an actual Ferrari that's insane but then look at the engine on it 
the, that entire front part is just engine pretty much but this is so fast considering how big it is especially it's amazingly fast like it just it's a shame this game doesn't demonstrate it it needs motion blur or something to make it look quicker You can tell I'm ready for this video because I got my drink and a vape. Nailed it. But yeah, it just it doesn't look that fast. I can still see all the pantograph or whatever they're called, the things holding the wires up above. I can still see all of them and I can see the trees and I just don't think in real life you would see that. It doesn't rock around either. I bet at high speed this moves around a fair bit. Oh, like that. It's, it just isn't very good at giving you the sense of speed this game isn't. I don't mind going a bit over the speed limit. It's up and down this track. If you tried to stick to the speed limit, you'd be constantly accelerating and braking, accelerating, braking. Because it's just so uneven. It goes up, then down, then up, and then, and so on and so forth. It Just keep roughly to the speed limit. Don't go more than 10 over or under. You should be fine. So I'm going to accelerate a bit now. When's it go up to 320? I really want to go 320. That's going to be fast. Right, let's cut the throttle back. 299. There's a discrepancy in the speedometers. One says 297, one says 298. Hmm. That's a bit. Ooh, 320. Here it comes at Lambesque. Lambesque. I was reading about this because I did a bit of research on the route. It's in Southern France. But Lambesque is a crossover point and you'll you'll see what I mean now you'll also see those pink and white signals but basically if something happened and when these trains broke down at like 300 kilometers an hour and couldn't get to a side in for whatever reason another train would come out and oop, full speed another train would come out couple onto it and it would just drag it into one of these side ins like that so it's basically for broken down trains just get them off the track so another one doesn't slam into it at 200 miles an hour. Right, we're 300. We're about to go faster than we've ever gone before. Yeah, this is quick. This is quick. Look at that. That is an awesome sight. That really is cool. Oh, we're about to go through a tunnel. Oh. Okay, the signaling system just flashed then, and I don't know why. Might have been a glitch. Let's hope it was a glitch. Let's see what the next signal does. No, that one was fine. We're actually slowing down. That's how steep that hill was. Right, where's our destination? Over there, 45 point. Look at the look at the, look at the distance coming down. 45. 44.7 <laughs> We're going to be there in no time Like 10 minutes Our ETA is, yeah 10 minutes, 11 minutes Oh, another little tunnel That's the thing at, the, at these speeds You can't exactly build tracks Around things, you just have to go Through them Like you can't have a track going up over a mountain And then down the other side at this speed Because it's just unrealistic And you can't have sharp corners either so if there's something in the way, you just got to go straight through it. Oh my god, we're actually going more than 200 miles an hour now. Outside view. I love the Doppler effect. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That is quick. Right, we need some dynamic braking. Uh, let's go back inside. Right, perfect. Dynamic brake is if you hold the throttle down, it'll go negative. That's basically the engine brake. But yeah, this game, this train even, it's so, it's awesome. It's a feat of engineering. I can't remember what I was talking about. I was talking about something a minute ago and I wasn't finished, but I can't remember what it was. Oh well. Oh yeah, that's what. But yeah, these tracks, when they build them, they just have to go through things. Like if you ever see China, China, they just fly over things. They build like 50 mile long bridges just for the tracks. 
it's amazing. Like in France, they were pretty tame. It goes up and over hills and stuff most of the time, unless the hill's too steep. But you just literally have to dig gullies, build tunnels, build bridges. You can't just go, oh, there's a, there's a uh, big hill there, let's go around it. Because it just wouldn't work at these speeds. More crossover points come in, I think. You'll see the pur uh, purple signals also made. So that's a normal signal there. The purple one is... Oh, we can accelerate a little bit. This one here. That just indicates there's a crossover, which is these tracks here going off to our right. That's all they indicate. I just thought I'd fill you in about the route. There is a different signal in system. It took me a while to get used to it. And at high speed, you can't really make a mistake because, yeah, you'll, you'll just die in a fireball. Which doesn't sound fun, I've got to admit. I was watching um, Final Destination yesterday. I've never seen them before. I watched the first three. I'm going to watch the fourth one, like, probably tonight. And they are gory. Good films, but gory. Like, seriously. I, I do like them, though. Not the best film I've ever seen. But Final Destination is quite a cool film. I'd never seen them before. I kept saying to my friends, what film do you reckon I, reckon I should watch? Oh, have you seen Final Destination? No. Watch that, then. And I just never really got around to it, so I thought, you know what? Do an all-nighter. Watch them. Because I don't sleep very well. One of my favourite films... I like, like, slapsticks slapstick comedy films like not so much Charlie Chaplin but like The Dictator and Deadpool and my favourite ones like that uh, Here Come the Zohan that's good with Ben Stiller um, I also like how far out are we I just want to keep an eye on how far out we are Ooh, another TGV thumbnail 2 speeding yeah I like Here Comes the Zohan I like The Dictator, I love Deadpool. I can't wait for the second one to come out, I think it comes out in January. I am so going to the cinema to watch that. And what's the other one I like? I do like Leslie Nielsen films like Airplane and The Naked Gun. They're funny as hell. I showed my friend Airplane before and he was like, oh I really don't want to watch an 80s film. I put on we was both wetting ourselves all the way through. They're so funny. If you guys know any good films, feel free to comment though. I'm, I'm always open for suggestions for good films. I'm not a massive fan of horror. I hate sci-fi. I know. I've never seen Star Wars. Some people are going to be like, eh, how can you not watch Star Wars? I just don't like sci-fi. Simple as that. I always sit there picking holes in it. Oh, you can't go faster than the speed of light and all that stuff. So, can't do sci-fi. I love comedies. Not so much romance. And horror, meh. Not so much, but it's okay. And uh, what other good genres are there? I don't like the films where you sit there for three hours straight, like the Ten Commandments. I don't like religious films, and not religious. But yeah, if you know any good films, I'd love to hear them. I love good films. Cavillion, we're at now. Another crossover points. These trains must break down a lot to have so many crossover points. Like, seriously. That's like three in what, 20 kilometers? Like, between them? I'm fairly sure if the engine cut out at 320 kilometers an hour, you could coast this thing for 20 kilometers. I'm pretty sure of that. Just radio the thing, like, guys, guys, we've broken down, change the thing ahead. I'm pretty sure you could get it in there and coast it. I don't know, I might be wrong. Perhaps when the engine seizes up, the brakes come on or something along those lines. But I'm pretty sure you could coast it. You wouldn't need a train to drag it. Right, 380. How far out are we now? 15 kilometres. It's coming up fast. Let's just leave it at that. So we're probably going to start getting this flash in now. I'm trying to zoom in. Then you have to hold down Y before it does anything. We're probably going to get a warning where that starts flashing. That's when we need to start braking. It's pretty simple braking though. It gives you a heck of a lot of room. So it probably soon it'll start flashing. There, there. <laughs> Good timing. There it is. So it's flashing. What we need to do now is just release the brakes. Give it a little bit of engine brake. That's 50%. And at the next signal, which is coming up very fast, it will give us our target speed. And we have to hit that before the signal afterwards. Ooh, nice bridge coming up. That 
that would be quite a cool thumbnail. I think I'm going to stick with the train's cross. All right, we need to hit 270. We're nearly there. In fact, I can probably release the brakes a fair bit now. Actually, no. Uh, in fact, we need these brakes. Uh, I'm going the wrong way with the throttle. Ah, not emergency. I applied the, my own emergency brakes and it wouldn't let me release them. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me, game? And now apparently we can go 300 again. That is utter bollocks. I accidentally pressed the emergency brake and now it won't let me do nothing. It won't let me put in forward, backwards, anything. That is nonsense. Now we have to wait for it to come to a full stop before we can do anything. Oh, come on, game. That that annoyed me a little bit, i got to be honest. Right, now will it let me? No, still no, still no, still no. What, seriously, a dead stop? Oh, that took the mech. Come on. You going to set off anytime soon? There. Ah, I missed it again. This one. Ooh, could get a good thumbnail here. Ooh, I like. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, if only another train passed in the background now, that would be an awesome thumbnail. Nice little pan, catch the back of the train. Boom, like that. Right, need to keep an eye on the speed this close to the station. Uh, I need that, still not quite used to controls. They are a bit counterintuitive. Like, the right trigger is brake and the left trigger is go. Like, that is a bit backwards to me. Because in every other game, right trigger is accelerate, left trigger to brake. Everyone knows that, but in this, no, other way around. Oh well, apparently we can go 300 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I don't think we'd stop at that speed. So, here's the next signal. What's this one going to say? 270. One thing to be careful of is this will give you the track speed limit before the station. It'll only slow you down a bit. So you'll go, oh, we can go 130. Right into the platform, you're never going to stop. So be careful of that. Keep an eye on the HUD at the bottom if you are planning on playing this route. Because that's caught me out a few times where I've just gone flying through the station at 100 kilometers an hour. So, yeah. I don't think people could jump on at that speed. Let's just put it that way. Oh my god, we're already going 100 miles an hour. Almost. And uh, now. It just doesn't look that fast. That's my main criticism of the game. But I can't imagine it's that hard to put a motion blur in. Like, seriously. It can't be that difficult. Right, 230 is our speed limit now. And it's probably going to go down again. So i just got to be careful of that. And these two signals coming up are very close together. Let's just hope you don't have to slow down by the other one. You know, that would be difficult. Right, we can go 230. And what's this one going to say? 170. So we need to slow down. Give it a little bit of engine brake. And here comes the platform in two kilometers, just over a mile. So I'm just going to keep the engine brake at 50% and hope we slow down in time. Although I'm not sure if it'll break us downhill. Yeah, it looks like it is. Through another little tunnel. That was a bit of a glitch then, it looked like the end of the tunnel. Right, it's less than a mile away, so I think we need a bit more braking than this. Let's go full engine brake. Let's see what that does for us. Not much. Okay. Apply the brakes. Did it go into emergency brake then? Better not. It better not, I swear. Right, let's go... Uh, 100, no. Let's go for... Let's go into the platform at 60, I think. Or not. 
I think the emergency brake's on. No, is it? No, it can't be, because otherwise it'd be in neutral. They're long platforms, but yeah, you're not going to stop from 130. As for the map itself, I'm pretty sure it just ends after this station. Uh, oh, it goes on a bit more, but yeah, it ends. So, just, I'm going to stop somewhere near the end, maybe, I don't know. Perhaps in the middle would probably be better. Just slow down from here. But I think this has been a fairly good video, guys. As I said, I'm sorry I haven't been up to, able to upload. I don't know what's wrong with my Premiere Pro. I'm going to try and find out in the next couple of days. I'm also going to be working, bear that in mind. But I'm still going to try and give you videos as often as I can. It's just going to be difficult working full time. And start... Ooh, that didn't sound good. But this has been the TGV. We're now in Avignon. And I think this has been a pretty good video. Oh, what would be great now is if, t is if a TGV flew past. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode. If you're not subscribed, make sure you are. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.